wonderful River Clyde. It's late December and to quote that show with the dragons and the ending that everyone hated, winter is here. And like most trout anglers, I'm counting down the days until the start of the trout season in March. But if you're someone who puts your fly rod away and hangs up your waders for the winter, you could be missing out on some fantastic opportunities for winter fly fishing. And I'm here on the Clyde with a four weight fly rod, a team of two nymphs and a strike indicator trying to catch some grayling. As well as doing a bit of fishing, I want to talk you through the setup I use and the approach that I use. And the first thing you need is, of course, some flies. So before we get started, I'm going to take you back to my fly tying vise and I'm going to show you my two favourite flies for winter grailing. So the two flies that I've just tied are my absolute favourite flies. They're flies that I would use in 99% of situations when fishing for winter grayling. The first one, which is the fly that I like to fish on the point, is my version of a pheasant tail nymph. And anyone who ties flies probably has their own version or their own variant of Frank Sawyer's famous pheasant tail nymph. Um, and it's a real killer. Um, this one is really simple. It's made primarily from pheasant tail and the thorax is some hare's ear that I dub on 
um, quite loose and then stroke back to give loads and loads of movement um, in the top end of the fly. Um, I also tie this on a jig hook. This one is a size 14 jig hook with a slotted tungsten bead. And I find that that's really effective for getting the fly down nice and deep in the water column um, and it gives it loads of movement. Hopefully and ideally um, a jig hook should ride hook side up. So when you are fishing that little bit deeper, maybe in the slower currents, you're going to hang up on the bottom far less if you're using a jig hook. The second fly that I've showed you, um, and the one that I'm fishing on my dropper today, um, is again very very simple by it nymph. And I tie this on a curved hook, again using that hare's ear thorax to give a nice, um, almost like a, a soft hackle um, kind of appearance to the fly. Um, and this is one that's a fantastic caddis imitation. Um, it can imitate olives, um, it can also imitate midge. So anything that's likely to be hatching on a relatively warm and wet day like this in winter, this is a really, really good imitation for. And last but not least, <laughs> is this monstrosity that I have tied to my leader. Um, and this is my strike indicator, which I've just tied on with a simple loop um, and uh, greased up with some uh, bloatant. Um, and that allows me to see what my flies are doing underneath the water. And the technique is really, really simple. You're going to be looking for areas where you think fish might be holding. I'm going to be casting upstream, or about 45 degrees upstream, and trying to get the indicator to float back at the speed of the current, because that'll mean that my flies are floating back at the speed of the current. And then any little knock on the indicator, or if the indicator gets pulled under, I'm striking and hopefully I'm into a fish. So that's the theory anyway. Let's go and put it into practice and see how we get on. Go. At least that's not too big for the net, that one. So we'll try it. Nice, that's what I came for. Nice grayling. Off we go. Oh, what have I got here? Oh no, that's a big trout. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh 
Oh no, that's a big trout. Dear, oh dear, look at the size of that. Well, it's out of season, but that is a fantastic fish. That must be about three pounds. Okay, let's quickly get this out. There it is. And get this beautiful, magnificent fish away. Look at the size of that fish. Okay guys, so that just about wraps things up for me. I finished the day with eight fish, um, six grayling and two trout, which of course were out of season and were returned to the water um, quickly and unharmed. I hope you found this video enjoyable. Maybe you've learned something too from seeing my approach. Um, and I look forward to dropping in with another video in 2020.